Hello and welcome to Filmmaker's Journey. I'm Mike and in this episode you will see how you can build your own movie set. So I was working on the script for my next short film and I had this really strong picture in my mind of the climax which plays out in a bathroom. But as you can imagine it's very uncommon that you place your bathtub right in the middle of the bathroom. A lot of filmmakers will tell you that you just work with what you've got and even build your stories around that. That's okay, but in my opinion you shouldn't do too much compromises when it comes to important scenes of your movie or the cinematography or the general aesthetics of your movie. So since I couldn't find a fitting bathroom, I started to think about building my own one. And here's how I did it and what you need. 10 wood panels, 100 meter roof batten, screws, those triangle support things, I have no idea how they are called in English, but if you know it, you can post in the comments, I would really like to know it. And last but not least, you need one Herman the German. So first of all, we supported the wood panels with a frame so that they don't bend too much. After that, we built those triangles so that we could raise them on edge. And we also needed a hole for the window. <laughs> After one day of work, the walls were standing. And you already get an idea where this is going. The next day I painted the walls and rolled out a PVC floor with black tiles on it. Now I just had to furnish the bathroom, which was really fun, because you have a lot of creative freedom here. For instance, in our example the bathroom should look really spare and empty to reflect the inner emotional world of our protagonist. And that's it, it's a wrap. In total I paid 200 euros for the walls, because luckily I found uh, the wood panels on eBay for just around 100 euros. For the interior furnishing I paid another 250 euros, so in total I paid 500 euros for the whole set. I really can't say this enough, I just love it when a vision becomes real. Here's what we ended up with in the final movie. But there's also a small problem, in some shots you can see the gaps between the two walls, but on the other hand you can easily retouch them in After Effects. And still, those walls are pretty useful, they give you a lot of creative freedom and at the moment I use them as my backgrounds for Filmmaker's Journey. That's it for today, I hope you like it and I hope to see you next time on my Filmmaker's Journey. Cheerio! I just love it when a vision becomes real. That's the addictive part of filmmaking. Watch out kids. Filmmaking not even once. <laughs>